Hey Calvary, it's Pastor Chad, and we're starting week three of social distancing. Uh, I'm praying that you and your family are healthy and well, although I know if you're uh, isolating at home with your family, you're starting to go stir crazy, and if you're having to work because your work is essential, you're exhausted, and you're wishing you had some social isolation time, uh, and we're all enduring, hopefully with joy, because God is still sovereign, and He's in control, and He loves us. Hey, I want to remind you that uh, we're available. I mean, I, I just got to confess, I miss seeing you. I miss uh, worshiping together physically in a building. Uh, but I love the fact that thousands of us are worshiping together online in our living rooms, in our homes. Uh, that's a beautiful thing as the body of Christ is scattered throughout this community. Uh, uh, let me just say, if you need to talk to someone, you want to have a, a conversation with one of the pastors, you, you have some questions you want to answer, or maybe you're at a point of making a spiritual decision, uh, please contact the church office. We'd love to talk with you. We can set up an appointment by phone. We can set up an appointment by FaceTime or Zoom. We can, uh, can meet with you distantly and talk through those things. So this week, we're going to be talking about our essential beliefs here at Calvary. Uh, you know, Calvary is, is committed to leading people to a life-changing relationship with Jesus Christ. And a lot of people have no spiritual background or they come from a lot of different spiritual backgrounds. And, and we're not interested in doctrinal uniformity. We want people to study the Word of God, to learn and to believe as God leads them. And so we're focused on unity in love and purpose. In other words, we want you committed to the mission of Christ and we want you committed to loving God with your heart, soul, mind and strength. And after that, though, we, we still have some things we need to agree on to be part of the body of Christ here at Calvary. And so we've kind of boiled that down to five essential beliefs. And this week, we want to unpack those, talk through those, and just share them with you so you can know us a little bit better and understand who we are as you grow in your faith. So uh, today we're talking about the, the very first essential belief here at Calvary, which is the Bible is the inspired, inerrant Word of God that tells us what to believe and how to live. Uh, see, we believe the Bible is God's instruction book for our life. That's why we teach it. That's why we preach it. That's why we encourage you to read it. That's why we give Bibles away in our services. We want you to know the Word of God and let it impact your life uh, personally. And we believe that because uh, the Bible tells us to. Uh, the Apostle Paul said that all Scripture is God-breathed. Literally, it flows from the person of God and is profitable for teaching, uh, correcting, rebuking, training in righteousness that the man of God may be thoroughly equipped for every good work. Uh, the writer of Hebrews says that the Word of God is living and active and sharper than any double-edged sword. And, and it, uh, you know, it penetrates our heart and soul and, and tells us what we're thinking uh, Jesus said, if you abide in my word, in my teachings, then you are really my disciples and you will know the truth and the truth will set you free. Oh, I want the freedom, but the path to freedom is the truth of the word of God. And so we want you to read it. We want you to study it. We want you to learn it. I want you to memorize it because that way you're giving God a chance to speak into your life. And, and so uh, today I just want to uh, share with you a couple of thoughts about that. First of all, if you don't have a clue where to start reading the Bible, you're like, okay, I've got this time on my hands, uh, I'm kind of nervous a little bit about things, uh, then I'm going to encourage you to start reading the Bible. And the place that I'd encourage you to start is read one of the Gospels. The Gospels are Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. They're at the beginning of the New Testament. And, uh, and I want you to read those because those are the stories of Jesus. Those are the stories of Jesus' life and his death, his resurrection, his teachings, his interactions with people. I want you to hang out with Jesus. I want you to know Jesus. So read the Gospels. In fact, here's a challenge. Uh, I want to challenge you to read one of the Gospels this week. Now, the week is seven days, so if you take the longest Gospel, which is the Gospel of Matthew, it's 28 chapters, that's four chapters a day. That may be more than you're used to reading, but uh, this is a challenge, so uh, if you have the time, then do that. Uh, just go ahead and dive into it, and, and here's the thing. Write down your questions, and then email them to us. Uh, we got pastors that can answer them. Set up a phone appointment. 
We'd be glad to discuss them with you. So that's a challenge. Now, some of you have said, okay, you challenged us last week to, you know, look at the fruit of the Spirit in Galatians chapter 5 and, and look up Bible verses that uh, are, are for each one of those fruit of the Spirit and, and pick three of her favorites. And how do we do that? You mentioned concordances. You mentioned the going online. Let me give you a, a couple of just real practical tips on, on how to do this. Uh, first of all, we have a, a Bible app that we use here at Calvary Lot called YouVersion, Y-O-U Version. It, it's an app you can download at your app store. Uh, it's free, doesn't cost you anything. It's got uh, uh, about 50 different Bible translations uh, you can read in. It's got uh, you know, daily Bible reading plans. It has uh, uh, you know, devotions. It has uh, a search thing where you can actually look up a word and you can type it in and, and you can, it'll list all the verses with that word in it. Uh, I mean, you can spend a lot of time looking up love because there's about a thousand of them. Uh, it also has an events part where you can actually, you know, connect to Calvary and our sermon notes and, and kind of follow along, if you will, while you're watching from home or when you're here. So it's a very practical, uh, easy to use guide. Uh, there's other tools you can use. Another one I use personally is called Bible Gateway. Uh, so you just go to BibleGateway.com and you can pull it up and it's a study guide. You can just kind of look up a word and it'll give you all the verses uh, that are listed with that word. Now, say you don't want to be digital, you're an old school kind of person. I sometimes call myself a dinosaur because I still use paper and pen. I know, some of you are aghast at that in this digital age, but if you're a little more analog type person and you go, yeah, I don't want to look it up online, I'll look it up in person, then here's some things I use. Uh, this is a concordance. It's called a, a handy concordance because it's really small. Uh, it it uh, it's, doesn't cost much to get, but again, it, you just look up a word and it's got words listed and all the, not all the verses because this is a small one. It's got all you know, a bunch of verses with that word, the, the prominent verses with that word in it. Uh, but if you're really hardcore and serious, and I, and I kid you not, they have, this is like an exhaustive concordance. It's huge. And this is the first time it's been out of my office in 28 years. I'm just being honest with you. Because it's got every word in the Bible, and it's got all the places they occur. And if you just go, I want to see them all, then this is the kind of tool that you use. See, here's the thing. It doesn't matter what tools you use. We want you to be in the Bible. We want you to read the Bible because the Bible tells us what to believe and how to live. It, it gives us a different viewpoint than the world. While the world is panicking, we have peace. While the world is angry, we have joy. While the world is frustrated, we have patience. Why? Because we have a biblical worldview and, and it helps us to think like God thinks. So if you want to think differently, if you want to have the peace of God, then you really need to know the Word of God. Because when you know the Word of God and you allow it to affect your life, you allow it to change your mind, then you're that new creation in Christ and you get to live in that. Because, as Jesus said, if you abide in His Word, then you are truly His disciples and you will know the truth and the truth will set you free.